Well, hello, my peeps. It's Antoinette here. And uh, I want to tell you, my coffee pot died, and I'm really tired of the K-Cups. I want to make my coffee the old-fashioned way. I prefer a percolator, but, you know, they're more mess. So I thought I would try this. It's $45 at Target.com. Free delivery. Or you could pick it up at the store. All right, let's make some coffee. <laughs> This is day three of my Hamilton Beach No Scoop coffee pot. Stainless. It's just a dream. I love this. I love not having to deal with those K pods. All right, so let's make a cup. Okay. It takes 14 ounces, or up to 14 ounces. Um, I got to do some shopping today, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make my travel mug. You just pour it in, just like a automatic drip. Okay, I have my Pete's favorite coffee. Right, I'm going to try the scoop method uh, the way they suggest. Now, I like my coffee strong. It is really easy. They recommend very fine uh, coffee grounds if you grind it yourself. Okay. Alright, there is a max line and I'm up to that. You just place it in here like so. Close the lid. Now I like to froth my whipping cream. A couple tablespoons. Alright, that's it. My battery is running low. Now to turn it on, there's a regular switch or a bold, and I always take bold. Now it says that bold will take a little longer. It only takes 90 seconds, they say, but they say that the bold takes uh, a tad bit longer. So it's a minute or two you get coffee. All right, it's starting to brew. All now it'll start and stop a couple of times, but it's not done until, there it goes. It's not done until the light turns off. typical automatic drip and it says that on the box and it most certainly is so I love that it's hot I like my coffee hot so good with my pumpkin spice okay now see it turned off um, then if you were going to make uh, a regular cup just like so. I could do this size cup, but you do want to brew it, you know, as close to the top as you can here. This is already cooled off. It's amazing. So, uh, if you're like me and just sick of K-Pods and the price of them, <laughs> I 
highly recommend the Hamilton Beach One Scoop. I had a lot of problems with that, with my last coffee maker, and that was a Hamilton Beach. It was the uh, Flex Brew, and uh, K-Cups would blow up in there, and I would have grounds in my coffee, and it, it was really uh, annoying to clean those baskets. There were so many nooks and crannies and crevices that it was not easy to clean. It was difficult to clean, so I'm very pleased. And look at how beautiful it is on the counter. Let me show you how easy it is to clean this thing. It's quite amazing. Okay, so you have a three cup system. So here's my coffee groans. Then here is the second filter. So this is how you get a nice clean cup of coffee. Nothing can go through there. And uh, that's the problem I had with my my last one. And then there's the little uh, drip hole tray. So I emptied out my grounds. And look, at, I mean, this is really quality uh, stainless steel. Yeah, it's... It, it cleans out so nicely. Just a quick rinse. Yeah, it's just a quick rinse. And then just put it back in the coffee maker.